I mean, I've had this vision in my head from as far back as I can remember, as all I've ever wanted to do, is lift weights and train people. Now, as I became older, and to me it was even at a very, very young age, I started looking at trainers of athletes and teens hiring strength coaches. I was always just obsessed with it. So that's legitimately all I've ever wanted to do, is be a strength coach at some level. I'm a certified neuromuscular therapist. I think in terms of biomechanics, and that's how I think you should train, as, as you see from the loading patterns and the movement mechanics, that's how I think you should train. So I really developed a lot of that of training youth. Well, what I notice is if you implement, I mean, obviously you can do a lot more intensified loading patterns with pros, right. but the concept is the same, it's efficiency of motion. It is taking pressure off joints when you train. It allows pro athletes to train a lot more aggressively. That's one thing they're always looking for. They want to be in less pain in the off season. They want to train, and when they train, they don't want to be in pain again. Right. There are enough pain in the season. You have to train through or play through pain. You should not train through pain. I wanted to specialize in middle school and adolescent development. Now, what I found was there was a market for pro athletes because the way I think and the way we train kids in terms of how we manipulate their nervous system and overload muscle activity while they go through puberty. What I found is that science is analogous to a pro athlete that is coming off an injury or coming off a season where they're extreme wear and tear. The science is very similar. It's like almost like you teach a neural pattern to a kid, you reinforce it to an athlete. So athletes would get injured, rehab, train, or play a season, get wrecked, rehab train but you can complement that rehabilitation realignment regeneration phase tremendously if you go through very very aggressive neural pattern training like you do with kids so because i was trained in that i found a huge market of people that were seeking me out because they thought that i could um, complement the rehabilitation so well it would shorten it and enhance it and we found that that, that was the case then in terms of devices, of course, I, you, know, you have to have the basics. You have to have a good mixture of machines and free weights. Your free weights have to have a rack that is multifaceted and can fit any athlete, any client, at any time with any intention. Which is why I'm a big believer in Sornix because it's so customized to every individual person because it gives all the directional forces that I want. Okay, And then you have to have good cardiovascular machine, some of it intense, some of it basic. All of it can be quantifiable. Then you have to have a very, very, very good investment of the medical entities, nutritional entities. So we have an in-house chef, we have medical doctors that will do blood work and enzyme function analysis and, and advanced nutrition and metabolic typing and food sensitivity tests, you know, the, the, the absolute basics. We have a chef that is completely quantified based on our systems of uh, we go on an exchange system, and he implements that to perfection with good, organic, healthy food. We have nutrient timing specialists. We have an entire advisory board on nutrient timing. We have a strong relationship with a supplement company that gives us all the things that we need. Um, in addition to that, we have 14 different medical disciplines inside the medical center at each one of these facilities. So you have to be well-rounded, and bottom line is you have to solve problems. That's it. We are solving problems. So a pro athlete comes in, they need a chiropractor, they need an acupuncturist, they need a physical therapist, they need a massage therapist, they need ART, MAT, they need uh, dry needling, they need blood flow restriction, they need the art machine, they need everything. So why force them to go find all the stuff when we've solved their problems for them? We brought the very best in every medical entity under one roof, so all I gotta do is walk through the door. We have to invest in education. Everything's about education. We are, we are pushing limits of this profession. I feel we are at the top at the very top of overall understanding of fundamentals of science and how to apply it. But there's always people that are going to be trying to catch up and catch up. We gotta stay on top of our game. Just because we're at the top doesn't mean we're gonna stay there forever. We have to constantly push the limits of the scientific application redirecting the research. My goal is very simple. I wanna leave a mark on this industry that's never been seen before. I want my name, this brand, and the professionalism that defines this brand to last through the ages. I mean, 100 years from now, we're still talking about the Bomberio system. It's still relevant, it's still going. We've passed this on to my son, and the management and the staffing just continues to grow. Long after I'm dead and gone, I want this brand to live. And is the system just the training? 
or is it the entire thing? The entire thing. You know, how you educate people. What is the structure of how you educate people? How do you integrate into sports science? How do you integrate into university research? How do you present and redirect research to large audiences? How do you mentor parents on the right way to sign their kids up for proper training? How do you train athletes? How do you train kids? How do you train people? What is that energy system development we just discussed for two hours for regular people? How are we legitimately long term going to drop healthcare costs by training and educating at an early state in terms of how you take care of your body? From a nutritional standpoint, a cardiovascular standpoint, a respiratory standpoint, and a musculoskeletal standpoint. I'm a firm believer people aren't lazy, they're undereducated with how to take care of their body. And if you simplify it for them to fit their lifestyle, which I think we've done with a lot of our programs, and we solve their problems, they're going to adhere to it more. Always explaining and reviewing what we just did. That is the number one rule of this industry. Always explain what you did. You preview it, you do it, you review it. You have to constantly beat that down. Too many times coaches and trainers, when, they're on, when athletes are on rest, thank God, my brain can't sleep. Your brain can't be asleep. Most people say it's exhausting to work here, not because of the physical demands, but because your brain has to legitimately be on for 10 consecutive hours. Even when you're sitting down, eating lunch, and there's athlete after athlete coming through here, you gotta be talking science. You have to be talking. You, know, you can't be fake and just well, I want to be like, let's just talk about something out regard to the training. That's not what they're paying us for. They're paying us to get educated and trained. And you got to be on. It's as authentic as it gets. Yeah. Right on. Well, Pete, thanks so much for the time. Yeah. We appreciate it. Hope everybody at home learned a lot. Yeah, and, for sure. And uh, we'll catch you next week.